Oh my god, Alfred, what are you doing? This is research. Uh, oh, <laughs> research. Uh, right? Uh-huh, research. And that's why you changed the tab? Let me see. No, no! Wait, you were watching kinetic sand videos? That's it? Get out of my house. But the cats, though. Mmm, those are some nice cats. Wait. Alfred! You see this pretty keyboard here? It's called the sleeper sand. It's beautiful and it's full of sand. We're gonna get into that really soon. So stick around. What do you get when you fill keyboards with lots of random things? Well, howdy hey, I'm Hippiotech and that's kind of what I do. Oh no. Because of our nemesis Alfred Spray Lube, I am now in the possession of two pounds of kinetic sand. What is kinetic sand? Well, it makes the cool ASMR videos. I have three goals in this video. Make a pretty keyboard, fill it with sand, and make it sound really, really good. Am I gonna break it? I don't know, I really don't know. But because I might break it, I'm gonna be using a keyboard that I don't really care about. Oh no. But sorry, this is the Nova 65. I've done a video about this board and it was incredibly boring, but what I will say is the sand somehow spiced it up. Wait, you know how earlier I said I didn't know what will happen? Actually, I do, because I'm recording this after I've already filmed it. I know it's really trickery. But basically, all you need to know about this thing, it's a 65% keyboard, and it's got a window on the bottom. This is what's crucial to this whole entire build, because why would you put sand in a keyboard if you can't see it? I mean, duh. Wait, I know what you're going to say. You're going to say, when it's on your desk, you can't see the sand anyways. I don't want to hear it. That's right, but I don't like it. Anyways, we'll get to the sand, so stick around, but first, we've got to get the keyboard apart. If you're new to building keyboards, you might find this part really interesting. If you're not new to building keyboards, then you'll still probably find this part interesting because you're a little nerd and you like keyboards. Ooh, sorry. Um, if you were into that, you can hit the join button down below for more of that. Okay, getting into the nitty gritty, this keyboard is incredibly annoying to take apart because of those really long screws that you saw and some other reasons. But once we've got it apart, that you know, we're making progress. So you can't actually get this keyboard yet. The round one was a group buy and it completely sold out, but apparently they're doing a round two soon. If that's in stock, I'll put a link in the description. It'll be an affiliate link. Apparently they are fixing the things I didn't like about this board, but that's kind of irrelevant. That was just a, that was a side tangent, keyboard side tangent. But enough of the side tangents. I've got green tea coursing through my bloodstream, or maybe it's just a lot of sugar. I don't know, it was boba. It was pretty good though. That's just another side tangent. I'm so sorry. So this board has foam and that's good. Originally I had the idea of just filling the whole keyboard with sand, replacing the foam, sand on the PCB, but then I had uh, a moment of clarity and didn't do that. Like I want this to be a semi-serious build, like it'll still work as a keyboard, hopefully, uh, and it'll still sound decent. Speaking of sounding decent, with that little bit of magic there, I've tape modded the keyboard. I've got a video on the tape mod, top right, I won't get into it now, and ooh, look at that sand. Yeah, there's the ASMR for you guys that, to watch this video for the ASMR. But let's get into the switches before we get into the sand, because uh, then we're gonna get sand in our switches and they'll just be MX Browns at that point. Ah, MX Browns funny. When I saw these linear switches for sale on Keeps For All, I kinda went crazy because they're called, hey, switches. And you know my catchphrase is, howdy hey. That, oh, you got a bonus one this video, very nice. So I was like, okay, these are the hey switches. I need to try them. Are they going to be any good? Now, this is just quick little switch facts. Quick switch facts time. Yeah. Uh, they're 58 gram bottom out. They're linear. They've got a box stem and hopefully they'll sound pretty good. They've also got double stage springs, which I kind of wish less switches would have those. I really don't like them that much, but that's just a me thing. It's a me thing. Stop. Don't, don't get mad. Now, because I only want to ruin this keyboard one way, I supported my switches from the back while installing them and then just waterfalled them on like magic. I will say the housings on these things were pretty tight. So in a hot swap PCB, they required quite a lot of force to get in. Speaking of a lot of force to get in, no, don't go there. This plate and PCB were very hard to fit into the top case because the USB port required a lot of maneuvering. It took me literally 24 minutes. I timed it. Now half of this is because I am dumb and not dexterous, but also half of this was the keyboard's fault. Um, this is just unnecessary struggles thrown into my video. But hey, it means you get more elbow content in this sped up montage. So yeah, elbow content. Leave a like and hit subscribe if you want more elbow content in the next video. Maybe I'll do a whole elbow live stream at 500,000 subs. Who knows? 
So next things next, we've got the switches in, the hey switches in, and we're just gonna screw the keyboard back together. I had to charge my wow stick halfway through making this video because it ran out of juice from those really long screws. Anyways, the keycaps. This is JTK Night Sakura, and it was sent to me for free by the key company. This was my first JTK set, so I had no expectations and was just very curious to check them out. Now, I know what you're thinking, this has nothing to do with putting sand in a keyboard, but, you know, the keyboard is the sum of all of its parts, so stick around for the keyboard build and maybe I could do more dumb ideas, you know? So, these are double and triple shot ABS keycaps. I know, triple shot? That's three times the shots. Take a shot of water every time I just said shot. Hmm. Now, these might be in stock as extras, so check the description. If there's a link there, then there you go. If not, maybe they've sold out or maybe they aren't ready yet. I will say the overall quality of these was a little bit lacking. There's little dots from the injection molding on every single one of the keycaps, which, eh, if you look at them close, is a little bit disappointing, but from a distance, you don't notice. But my goal here was make a sleeper sand keyboard. Like, the type of keyboard where you build it and you don't know there's sand in it unless you flip it over. It's kind of the ultimate meme, like, Hey bro, why does your keyboard sound so good? And you flip it over, and it's sand, and they're like, Oh, bro, you're psychotic. Nice. <laughs> you know, huh? So, with our sleeper sand keyboard built, we still haven't put sand in it. So, I'm gonna go ahead and give you a sound test of what it sounds like before we put sand in it. That way you can kind of compare. Like, we have nothing to go off of, we have no bass. First off, sorry about the background noise, but overall, this keyboard sounds a little bit pingy and hollow. Or the only way I can really describe it is you're hearing the plastic backing very, very well. Okay, since Alfred left us a fun note of kinetic sand, uh, we're gonna have to try it. Now guys, this is not my idea. Do not attempt this at home. I have a feeling this is dumb and won't be good for your keyboard. So there you go, there's your disclaimer. This is Alfred's idea. You can blame Alfred. Alfred is not Hippiotech. There you go. But you know, maybe I should become a kinetic sand YouTuber. They make way more money just poking sand. That's their whole entire thing. They cut it too, I guess, with scissors or knives. I, but it is fun. I'll give you that. But it stuck to my hand. Speaking of sticking to my hand, I'm going to stick my hand in this keyboard and take it apart so I can fill it with sand. Bars. I went through the same type of spiel as the first time around, but you don't really need to see that. So next thing. Next, it's the moment you've all been waiting for. Hippio fills a keyboard with kinetic sand to jazz music. Nice. If you like this episode of Hippio fills a keyboard with kinetic sand to jazz music, then make sure you stick around for episode two of Hippio fills a keyboard with kinetic sand to jazz music coming soon to a theater near you. So anyways, here's some satisfying footage of me filling the keyboard with sand. It's incredibly satisfying. I don't know what makes kinetic sand kinetic sand, but it's basically like a liquid yet a solid at the same time. I figured this was a lot better than filling a keyboard with normal sand because normal sand is rough and coarse and gets everywhere and that's lame. We don't want that. But this sand is sticky, rough, and coarse, and gets everywhere, so it's better, right? Right? Now, I want a lava lamp effect for this keyboard, so I'm not going to fill it completely to the brim with sand, as because it flows around, you'll be able to see it flowing around like this in the case. I think that'll be really cool if it doesn't break my keyboard. But yeah, so I mentioned I tape modded the keyboard before. I did that so it would protect the PCB from the sand. Whether or not that's a good enough seal to keep the sand out, definitely not, but we're gonna try our best with it. Also, I'm just smiley face modding it real fast, that way it sounds better. Um, the smiley face looks really dead inside. Okay, well now we've filled the keyboard with sand. That's what you came for, but also not what you came for. So you're not legally allowed to leave yet. We still need to compare it against the normal sounding keyboard and kind of see what's going on there. I also have plans to compare this against foam on a live stream, so make sure you're subscribed as I stream on YouTube and Twitch. But you see what I was saying earlier? Check this out. Look, it's it, you can see the sand through the bottom of the keyboard. That's kind of cool. Oh, no, no, no. Still a terrible idea. Don't do this. Seriously, do not do this. But look, it's kind of cool. It's like a sandbox, but don't do it. But it's, <laughs> it's kind of cool, but don't do it. Here's a live demonstration of me shaking it around violently. I found after a couple of days, it kind of bunched up a bit odd. So there's more dead space in there for some reason. I could probably fit more sand in there, but that's whatever. It's not leaking out of the ports, and we need to see if it even works. Speaking of ports, does it work? Or did the sand ruin it? Oh, it turns on. It turns on. 
So I quickly tested every single key to make sure that they all work. And guess what? They all worked. Now, I don't know what I was really expecting as far as breaking it. Maybe static electricity from the sand. Maybe the sand gets in the sockets and messes up something. I don't know if sand is conductive when it's kinetic, uh, but I know about kinetic labs. If you want to get any of the products I used in this video, check out the description. And now I'll be leaving you with the sound test of the before versus after. Make sure you watch the whole entire thing to support my YouTube algorithm overlords. Otherwise, they don't let me eat. And, you know, other ways you can let me eat is by liking and subscribing.